I'm gonna give you some of the key points and changes about what looks different in the training program right now in the open versus what we did in the off season. So for the CrossFit based workouts right now, we are gonna move towards more data based movement combos. What that means is we've evaluated all of the last opens and tried to find the movement combinations and pairings that are most frequently tested. So squatting and upper body pulling like thrusters and chest to bars, which comes out really regularly, pulling and upper body pushing like deadlifts and handstand pushups or deadlifts and handstand walking. And all of our Metcons start to get focused on those specific tests that are most frequently tested in the open. Whereas in the off season, we focus a little bit more on identifying specific limitations and maybe don't get as sport specific and data based at that time of the year. Second, we're gonna vary the time domains and add intervals in. So there's been a move in CrossFit to have more interval-based workouts in online qualifiers and the opens. So we're gonna make sure that all of the tests right now span from the really short time domain all the way out to the long time domain and also intersperse intervals into those CrossFit based sessions. So that way, by the time the open comes, you've seen all of those time formats in AMRAP settings and in for time settings and feel really comfortable with approaching any style of workout. And finally, our strength work in the off season is a little bit more focused where you're less fatigued and we're trying to drive one rep maxes up. In the CrossFit open or in quarterfinals, strength is often tested when you're really tired after a Metcon. So right now we're gonna move into more fatigue-based lifting where we do lifts under fatigue after Metcons or we accelerate the weight within the Metcon so it gets close to your peak 1RMs and that way you have some structured progressions to put some of that off-season technique of building your strength into a competitive style setting. That is the CrossFit and that's kind of what we're working on for all the divisions. For strength, we're gonna be moving towards more linear and consistent progressions right now. Because this CrossFit stuff is going to be very chaotic to try to hit all the stimuli that come out in the CrossFit Open, we decided that we're gonna make the strength very targeted, very focused, and try to drive 1RMs up as much as we can in the event there is some maxes that aren't tested in a fatigue-based setting. So Monday, we're gonna be doing clean and jerk complexes and overhead squat work. Tuesdays is gonna be gymnastics, both upper body pulling and upper body pushing. Wednesday is gonna be the power versions of the lifts to give you a little bit more barbell cycling. So think maybe 5RMs and 10RMs and cycling versus trying to drive a 1RM power snatcher power clean. Then some heavy front squats and for the elite path, just some sprinkling in of strongman work for the semifinals that are gonna be later in the season for that group. Front, or Friday, we're gonna be working on CrossFit total, so strict press, back squat, and deadlift progressions with some more gymnastics work that's focused on core. And then Saturday is gonna be a speed day where the percentages are a little bit lower and we're focused on the Olympic lifts. So this CrossFit and strength work is applied to all of the different divisions. However, in our program, we try to make sure that people are ready at the right time of the season depending upon their athletic level. So for the RX division, which is really most of the athletes that are trying to get into that top 10%, we're gonna be trying to peak for the quarterfinals. So get yourself ready through the open, pretty confident that you're gonna make that top 10%, and then you're coming into that quarterfinals feeling as strong and sharp as you possibly can to give yourself an opportunity to get ready for semifinals. For the intermediate athletes, we're gonna be trying to peak for the open. So if you do qualify in that top 10%, then you get an opportunity to transition into RX and peak for the quarterfinals with that RX group. If you don't, then we move into the off season immediately after the open for the intermediate athletes. The primary skills that we're gonna work on from a gymnastics perspective for the next couple months as we lead into the open are chest to bars where the focus is gonna be pacing and then skill work on wall walks and handstand walks. We found that those are really high level complex movements that a lot of intermediate athletes struggle with so trying to hammer them now so that way by the time the open comes you feel a little bit more confident is our priority in the intermediate division for masters athletes things get kind of complicated because you're getting ready for the 
quarterfinals and then the semifinals, which is different than last year. So we're gonna basically have multiple peaks for the masters athletes. You're gonna get ready for the quarterfinals, assuming most of you are gonna finish in that top 10%. Then we're gonna get a ready again for the semifinals for those athletes that do qualify and give you an off-season option if you don't make it through the quarterfinals. And last but not least, our elite athletes, what we're gonna try to do is peak for the semifinals, which means the open is not going to be a super high focus. The quarterfinals is still gonna be a big peak because it's not an easy task to make it through the quarterfinals anymore, but we're gonna make sure that there's a peak in strength at the quarterfinal date and then again at the semifinal date where we start to work with the people in the program to make sure that on your specific date of semifinals, you understand how to get yourself ready because there's four different date windows that your semifinal can be in. Then we're gonna continue our cyclical endurance progressions, which you won't see as much in the RX path, which means you're gonna see extra training sessions in the day that are specific to cyclical work. And then the last thing is that we are gonna peak for quarterfinals even though it is not the main peak of the season, which I kind of already explained, but it's a bullet point, so I had to talk about it. All right, that's all I got for the next cycle, our open peaking cycle. If you want some more information, head over to trainingthinktank.com, click on online programs, all the information is there. We hope to see you in the program, and now you can enjoy my great coaches talking in detail about what I just gave you the condensed version of. Later.